One year ago, Mother Mookake, while making a stupid internet video on things he thoroughly despises, killed a Twitter demon. Largely by completely ignoring it until it gave itself a brain aneurysm. However, now, one year later, the consequences of Mother Mukate's actions have finally caught up with him. I am a socialist justice warrior, and my purpose is to destroy all those who stand against our Twitter port. I have been tasked with destroying a new target, New Cake. His crimes are numerous. However, the worst of the two include killing, and were still grossly offending, one of my Twitter horde companions. He must be destroyed and eviscerated for his heinous crimes. Tracking. Locating. Locating. Didn't see you there. I was just busy reading this here little book, the Communist Manifesto, because you know, I, I definitely believe this. I'm 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 definitely a socialist slash communist. I definitely I'm not just putting this on for show, uh, to get sympathy points and, and validation points on the internet. No no no, definitely 110% believe this. Not putting this on for show whatsoever. Oh, by the way, I bought this on Amazon Prime. <laughs> Over the last ten years or so, socialism, or at least anti-capitalist beliefs, have had a resurgence in popularity. In fact, I take it a step further and say they've become trendy by this point in time. And whether or not you agree with socialism is completely irrelevant to this video and this argument. No matter what you think of it, it's become a buzzword. It's become a source of debate, a source of contention, a source of memes throughout the internet. It's popular, it's trendy, regardless of whether you think it's right or wrong. What do I think of socialism? I hear you ask. What, what are my political views? Well, my views are, I don't fucking care. Politics is just really, really boring to me, and all politicians are basically assholes in my opinion. Who gives one, to be perfectly honest? Since 2010, the idea of socialism has grown again in popularity, most likely because in 2008 there was a massive fucking financial crash and everybody was suddenly shit out of luck. Combine this with the fact that prices are slowly going up, billionaires and millionaires have been put under more scrutiny over the last few years, and the fact that there's lots of very young people who are very broke and would like more money. You pull all this together, it's not really a surprise that socialism has suddenly become quite a popular idea on the internet. Especially amongst younger generations like the millennials and the Gen Zs. I shudder at the very fucking word. The 2016 presidential election, or more specifically Bernie Sanders' campaign in it, also played a huge part, I believe, in making socialism more popular and trendy again. And it certainly increased the use of the word socialism and made it a more popular word within our daily lexicon. Bernie Sanders' subsequent 2020 presidential election bid only further fueled the popularity of socialism and the concepts that surround that word. Even if sometimes those concepts were just vague as fuck and didn't really mean anything at all. Prior to 2016, words like socialist and socialism weren't really used very much. You didn't want to label yourself a socialist because everyone would just assume that you're a diehard Stalinist communist. Now though, labelling yourself as a socialist, though it still will get you some backlash and always will, it'll also get you a shitload of brownie points on some very large sects of Twitter. In fact, you don't even have to use the word socialist or socialism. As long as you throw out some vaguely socialist sounding ideas, you're guaranteed some internet points on some very large parts of Twitter. Saying things like tax the rich, 
fuck capitalism and fuck Jeff Bezos, they're going to guarantee you some internet points whether or not you actually agree with those sentences. And this is something that quite a lot of internet stars have taken advantage of, I believe, over the last few years. Sure, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of content creators out there who are actually genuinely socialist and believe what they're saying and preaching from the bottom of their little bourgeoisie hearts. But there are plenty of others on the internet who have merely adopted a socialist facade and who realise that saying vaguely socialist things on the internet will get them more views and more attention from the younger, more internet acquainted generations. And today, I, Mother Moocake, would like to take you through a few examples of this fake socialism. From the quick and purely opportunistic examples where someone will just make a quick rich people bad tweet for more attention, to the full-blown die-hard cases where people have spent years throwing out socialist takes they probably don't believe in and have built their entire brand around said takes. To the point where in some rare cases, they actually begin to believe their own bullshit. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, pimp out your proletarians, let's dive in. So let's start off with the quickest and most basic form of fake socialism, which is basically just the attention equivalent of a quick buck. Someone on the internet who isn't really known for socialism, politics, or anything remotely like that, will suddenly fire out of nowhere a quick socialist take to appease the masses. They're aware that a majority of their audience will probably agree with this socialist take, and so they quickly just shoot it out there, basically to pander for views and attention, regardless of whether they actually believe this opinion or not. And I'd argue, in a lot of cases, the people firing out these quick socialist takes for attention don't actually fully believe the take that they're making, because they usually come from very rich and successful people. A good example of this comes from Pokimane, who in May 2021 fired out this quick hot take to get her fans on board with her epic socialist views. Pokimane is a very good example of this quick, opportunistic fake socialism. She's certainly not the only example, but she's probably the easiest and the best and the one that you know the most. And the reason she's such a good example is because while she's put out a few tweets like this before and said a few vaguely socialist things on her streams, she's not overly known for sucking up to the hip socialist youth, is she? I mean, don't get me wrong, she does plenty of sucking up, but most of that sucking up isn't about socialism or geared towards socialist groups. This is just a very good example of, hmm, most of my audience is probably young and a bit fucking broke. And socialism is a hot topic right now. Hmm, let me put two and two together. This tweet, a few days after it was put out, was brought under serious scrutiny after an article was released claiming that Pokimane spends over $100,000 a year on Starbucks alone. Which is something you could probably argue is psychopathic behaviour. Pokimane's responses were pretty cookie cut as she came out and immediately denied this allegation, but one thing I noticed about her responses both at the time and now looking back at it, is that all her responses seem to try and downplay her wealth. Even though she's put up videos in the past that focus on and show off her wealth. This house tour is a few years old now, I'll grant you that, but even her most recent 2021 apartment slash room tour while it didn't put a huge money figure in the title for attention, it still inadvertently shows off a shitload of very expensive things. So I'm sorry, Pokey, whether you make 80 grand a stream or not, that's completely irrelevant to this argument, because you're still fucking rolling in it. But the facade of not rolling in it looks very good to your audience. And so at this point, you can probably see for yourselves that this first example of fake socialism is a solely reactionary one. It's solely reactionary, and it's solely to try and make the person look more relatable and more likeable. Because being relatable and likeable is good for a brand. And and considering how many fucking brand deals Pokimane gets, she probably needs to appear as likeable and as relatable as humanly possible. So quick, I'll put out a super speedy tweet that has an opinion that a majority of my audience will agree with. And if it gets backlash because I'm labelled a hypocrite, or shown to be a hypocrite, I will simply downplay my wealth and success to look more relatable and more like one of you guys. Yes, comrade! I am one of the working class too. Yes, let us break our chains together. We will rise from oppression together, comrade. The only difference is I shall do it from my very expensive mansion. So ironically, this first example of fake socialism, it's not really about looking socialist or trying to convince people that you believe in socialism. It's more about just trying to look as likeable and relatable to as many people as you can 
as quickly as you can. If capitalism was super popular and super trendy at the moment, you get tweets exactly like this saying that socialism breeds psychopathic behaviour. And arguably it does, but I'll leave that one there. It's purely reactionary, it's purely to appease an audience, and it's purely based on what's popular and a hot topic at the moment in time. I are women in, I don't know the words, so I'll mumble along in a slightly demented way. We're moving a little further down the rabbit hole for this next example, ladies and gentlemen, so check your hazmat suits, we're off into Chernobyl. This is a case of fake socialism which, like the last example, is opportunistic and used to get into the good books of as big a crowd of people as possible. However, the difference is, this time around, there's a lot more commitment to the facade, and the person giving their fake socialistic takes actually wants you to believe that they're socialist. They keep up the disguise for ages, they keep throwing out ideas that sound vaguely socialist for ages and ages and ages, building up their entire career and brand around it in quite a few cases. They do genuinely want you to believe that they believe in this stuff, because hey, if they believe it, and if you come off as more genuine, it's bound to get more people on your side and have them stick around and be more loyal to you. Here we have Nicolol, a prime, if not overcovered example of someone who has spent quite a long time now building up their brand and their career and their popularity around very left-wing socialistic takes. Her big break on the internet began with this infamous video here, which I refuse to play the audio off because you've heard it all before and it's annoying as fuck. And since the start of her internet stardom, she's come out with plenty more socialistic takes on her Twitter and social media pages, in her videos, in her Twitch streams. Jeff Bezos is out there eating a thousand dollar steak in his trillion dollar mansion. And then what, what, what are you doing? What are, what are we doing? We're, we're here on, on my stream eating a cup noodle. All right, we got it. We got it exactly. We got to eat the rich exactly. And this is fine if you're actually a socialist. But by this point in time, we have a lot of unavoidable evidence to suggest that Nicolol probably isn't. In June 2021, Nicolol put out her now infamous $2 million apartment tour video, which is something I and many other YouTubers have covered and memed on in the past, and rightly so. I wasn't thinking I was gonna show you guys this, but I might as well show you. But we have a pretty sick view. <laughs> I forgot to show you guys. This is my closet. So this is Nick's corner of the closet. And then all of this area over here is mine. Eat the rich. Let's see here. Let's let's just see here for a second. Lots of very socialist takes on all her social medias. Flexing an overly expensive apartment to her audience. Hmm. However, alongside this, there's also a slew of other evidence to suggest that her socialism isn't quite as legitimate as she'd want you to believe. There's the fact that she's moved to another state that has lower tax rates. There's older tweets that she made that completely contradict her socialistic takes. Socialistic takes, by the way, that only seem to have appeared after she got popular. There's also plenty of other examples of her flexing her wealth, most notably the brand deal she did with BMW just a few days before she uploaded her apartment tour video. Here she is, supporting and collaborating with a large multinational company and brand that is entirely built around capitalism and consumerism. And that's perfectly fine. You're well within your right to do that. But isn't that everything that socialism goes against? Are you not collaborating and getting money from the very thing that socialism stands against here. So yeah, don't worry Nicolol, you're well within your right to do this, but don't be surprised if people come out and call you a fucking hypocrite for it. Eat the rich. See, the problem here is that being relatable and one of you guys is very important to an entertainer slash content creator. It's a very useful thing to do because it makes you look more relatable and brings back audience loyalty. However, another very important thing to content creators and entertainers is looking cool and epic in front of your viewers slash fans. Because that makes them respect you more, and to a small extent, envy you a little bit, and really want to be cool like you. So they'll keep coming back to watch your videos. Everyone hypes themselves up in front of the camera one way or another to an extent, because otherwise you'd look boring. And a boring personality isn't gonna get you many views, is it? And one of the laziest and most surface level ways an internet personality can try and look cool and epic in front of the camera 
is by flexing their wealth. And while this method of looking cool is just as brain dead and annoying when people like Sniper Wolf, Jake Paul and FaZe, whoever the fuck do it, the key difference is they're not doing it while also at the same time claiming to be socialist and completely against this sort of thing. This is the dictionary definition of hypocrisy. You can't have it both ways, Nico Lol. Are you a super cool, epic, hip, relatable socialist who wants to eat the flesh of the capitalists? Or are you a big, cutesy, rich, epic Twitch girl with her BMW? Which is it? You can't be both at the same time. By trying to have it both ways, by trying to have both at the same time, all you've done is exposed your tactics here. You're not actually a socialist. You probably don't believe in 90% of these socialist takes you say. You're not actually a socialist. You just spout surface level socialist sounding takes in an effort to sound more relatable and cool to the epic Gen Z crowd on Twitter. This is just basically a business decision to try and appeal more to younger generations. That's all this fucking is. My favourite thing about this entire situation is once she was called out for this and labelled a hypocrite, Nico Lowell's defence was basically to say that she is only a millionaire and it's the billionaires that are rich. Millionaires aren't rich, it's only the billionaires that are rich. And that's the ones that she hates and calls out with her socialist takes. And to that, I say, fuck right off, not even you believe this. So in one way, this type of fake socialism is very similar to the first and earlier type of fake socialism I showed you. Its main purpose is to make you look more relatable and get more people on your side and get a large crowd of people to like you as quickly as possible. The key difference though is this type of fake socialism is more into its cosplay. Rather than just throwing out a quick tweet in the hope of getting some attention, this one's about long-term roleplay. They'll pretend to be socialist for ages and echo these opinions for years and years and years in an attempt to look more sincere and convince more people that they actually believe this sort of stuff. But then inevitably what happens with this sort of stuff is they'll turn around and then do exactly the opposite of what they preach and immediately just out themselves like Nico Lol has here. It's just as fake, it's just as much for attention and relatability points, it just happens to be a bit more try hard as well. Oh yeah guys, I'm one of you, we're gonna break our chains together, absolutely yes we are. The only difference is I'm gonna pay someone else to break my chains for me because I have an exorbitant amount of money. Um, I don't know where this joke's going actually, sorry. <laughs> So finally, boys and girls, we have probably the weirdest and most hardcore fake socialism. And this essentially boils down to acknowledging your hypocritical behaviour, but then in the same instant turning around and saying, oh, it's fine because I'm an exception. With cases like these, as far as I can tell anyway, usually I think one of two things has happened. Number one, the person has been spouting fake socialism takes for so long now that they've actually started to believe their own bullshit. Or number two, the person actually used to be a socialist and maybe to an extent still is, but since being a socialist they've become very rich and wealthy and successful and obviously they don't mind having a lot of money and nice things so they turn a blind eye to themselves and continue to preach socialistic opinions no matter how hypocritical it is. You might know Hassan Abi, I think that's how you say it. I personally never heard of him before until about four months ago and I knew absolutely nothing about him until I sat down to make this video. Regardless though, he's a popular Twitch streamer at present who, much like Nico Lull, has built up his brand and appearance around being socialist and having socialist takes. However, unlike Nico Lull, Hassan Abi really wants you to know that he's politically adept. He doesn't just throw out vague left-wing comments and funny TikTok dances with fucking left-wing shirts on. No, 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 he talks about it quite regularly and in depth to an extent. He uses a lot of big boy words and he has countless videos on his various YouTube channels where he discusses socialism and politics to a reasonable amount of detail. And to an extent, I would say that this guy actually knows what he's talking about. Unlike previous examples of fake socialism I've given, this guy, to an extent at least, knows what he's talking about and has done his homework. He at least has a basic grasp of socialism and his arguments for it. Though then again, I'm pretty sure he's also in the habit of using very long words to sound clever, thrown in with a pinch of r slash I'm 14 and this is deep. Culture used to be the backbone of the resistance. All it seeks to do is sedate the masses, 
Culture now seeks to appeal to our primal urges, our base need. We're now in the age of mediocrity. You can bring about the positive change you want to see in this world. Because the revolution will not be televised. Revolution will not be televised. Anyway, you guessed it. Mega socialist man is revealed to have bought himself a big three million dollar mansion and is called out immediately for being a hypocrite. Now, in his defense, Hassan Abi did not make a big video flexing this new mansion, like in the cases of Nico Lol and Pokimane that I've mentioned before. It was merely reported on by a news outlet, and people caught wind of this report and started calling him out and memeing on him for it. However, while he didn't flex his mansion, he has, in the past, several times made videos calling people out for having big over-the-top houses and mansions that cost an exorbitant amount of money. We are no longer living under feudalism. We are no longer living in, like, a monarchy. You have this massive castle. Explain intergenerational wealth under capitalism. These are the fucking actual castles. And the only difference is, like, instead of God ordaining, uh, whatever the fucking king is, now you just have meritocracy and, uh, hard work that allowed you to reach this level of wealth. It makes no sense that this is, like, it's just like making me angry. His main defense for buying the house, other than shitty memes on Twitter, is apparently he bought it to look after his mother. But then again, on the same front, apparently this house has got like five bedrooms and five bathrooms or some shit like that. So it's already a bit over the top if you're just looking after one person plus yourself. That seems a little excessive, doesn't it, sir? That seems a little bit monetarily excessive. Isn't that what socialism is against? I have to ask this question over and over again. What are you doing with all that space, bro? After the third room, like, you should stop. Many of his fans argued at the time that he's well within his right to buy this house and that you can still criticize capitalism while being involved in a capitalist society. And yeah, sure, you're well within your right to buy this house, don't get me wrong, but don't be surprised when people turn around and call you a bit of a hypocrite for it, when for years you've been literally calling other people out for doing the exact same thing. You have spent years ragging on both capitalism and people who own and buy big excessive mansions, and here you are doing the exact same thing, and you still can't see the hypocrisy here? You're somehow an exception to the very rules that you set down? I guess they look at it and they go, yeah, good thing, so someone pointed out in the chat, like, good thing, that's uh, not me, you know, I I'm very different. Essentially, you could summarize this kind of fake socialism down to the person who's peddling this shit might actually believe their own shit at this point. Or, as I said earlier, were at some point a socialist and have had their views somewhat skewed by the amount of wealth and success they've gained over the years. They might genuinely believe that they are a socialist and an epic campaigner for the oppressed, all while turning a blind eye to, or being completely brain dead oblivious to, the amount of wealth and success they have gained through the very stuff that they criticise regularly. To put it very simply, this variant of fake socialism probably just boils down to an incredible lack of self-awareness. Also, Hassan Abi, just in case you're watching, though I appreciate that's very unlikely, you're not some epic socialist campaigner, you're a Twitch streamer. You spend your days reacting to other people's content, usually in complete silence for large chunks of the stream. Now for what you've all been waiting for, the tech. There is so much technology incorporated in Gates Sprawling Mansion that the house features an estate-wide server system just to handle all the gadgets. Not that you would know that just by looking inside because the tech is surprisingly subtle and well hidden. Just tone it down a little bit is what I'm saying. You're not some incredible revolutionary content creator that's upping the game and changing the game as we know it. You're just a streamer that watches shit for the most part in complete silence. And so there you are, ladies and gentlemen. These are, I believe, the three main types of fake socialism that are running rampant on the internet at this point in time. Now there is an argument to be made that these three types of fake socialism are an ongoing process. You start off in the first example I gave you, and over time, as you pedal this shit more and more and more, you delve slowly and slowly further down until you reach this last and latest example that I've just finished giving. However, whether you believe that or not, I hope that after watching this video, you can go forth onto the depraved cesspool that we call the internet and notice this fake socialism shit for yourself. You can pick up on it yourself, you can realise it for yourself, and so you can be immune to it. You won't fall for people's bullshit 
going forward. Basically, if you want a moral to the story, this isn't a fairy tale, by the way, so I'm not fucking entitled to give you one. Fuck you. But if you want a moral to the story, don't believe what people tell you right off the bat. Be it your next door neighbour or someone you watch on the internet. Scrutinise everything, criticise everything, and make your own fucking opinions. Don't take anyone's word for it. Even mine. Scrutinise everything. Make your own fucking opinions. Because that's the only way you're going to survive, both on the internet and in life in general. What the fuck? I don't have a doorbell. Target acquired. Who the fuck are you? Mother Mubik, I charge you with the heinous crime of going against, destroying, and offending one of my Twitter horde companions. The sentence for this terrible crime is immediate and swift death. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. I've I've never ever even seen you before. Why why do you want to kill me exactly? Ignorance is no excuse. You will now be terminated swiftly and painfully because I disagree with you. Wait, you're after me because of that Twitter demon? from like fucking ages ago. I didn't even do anything to them. They just fucking died when I ignored them. I didn't do that. I just stopped paying attention to them. They fucking keeled over. I think we've hit it off on the wrong foot here. Look, let's call a truce, all right? Look, I've got, I've got this here. Communist Manifesto, might be of interest to you. Here, it's all yours. The Communist Manifesto. Very well, Mother Nukek. I accept your terms. This is an adequate peace. Broker. Oh, by the way, I bought it on Amazon Prime. What did you say? Amazon Prime? I have been compromised. This manifesto is tainted with capitalism. I am tainted with capitalism. Error. 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 Capitalism. Error. 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 Well, that was just really fucking weird. Anyway, boys and girls, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having an epic new year so far. So far, 2022 hasn't whipped its dick out and smacked us across the jaw with it, but hey, you never know. Things might just be heating up a little more slowly this time. If you did enjoy this video, I'd like you all to collectively and as a group of equal people smash the like button at the same time. Not just you smash the like button, comrade, but we smash the like button all together. Also the subscribe button, if you like. Also the notification bell. Also donate to me on Patreon. I don't actually have a Patreon. Fuck Patreon. I've got a really big project coming your way. It's going to take genuinely a few months to put together. I've started it and already just from the little I've done, I can tell it's going to take a while to put together. I'm hoping to have that to you in around April and between then I'm going to have lots of shorter videos, you know, APIS, smaller commentary videos, the usual shit. So don't worry, I plan on keeping you well and truly fed with abysmal content for 2022. So until then, take it steady, stay safe, eat your greens, get your vaccine, and remember to buy lots of editions of the Communist Manifesto from Amazon Prime. <laughs>